Good morning, everyone. How are you? It's Lori, and I'm here to do your daily reading for you. Look at there. You have rolled Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Scorpio energies. My lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. I hope you guys are all doing well today, that you're happy, healthy, and having some fun. All right, let's get right into this daily message here. We're going to see what the heart of the matter is, obstacles, what's on your mind about this situation, what your immediate future looks like. We'll also take a look at how you view yourself handling this situation and what the most likely outcome will be here for you. All right, I uh, will draw you one angel number card at the end of this daily message. So let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is going to be here. You have the Page of Pentacles, okay? A new start. Somebody may be offering you something. It could be a request or it could be a gift. For a lot of you, I feel like somebody's trying to do something that will lift you up, okay? So maybe send you flowers, maybe ask you out for coffee. Um, hey, let's hang out for a little while. Something that would lift your spirits. It could be that they're going to gift you, you know, maybe, yeah, like I said, send you some flowers. Um, I don't know, Send. I'm getting a book, like send you a book that you might be interested in reading. So whatever's happening here, it's not a big, huge thing, but it's a big, huge thing, okay? Because it feels really good. It makes you happy. Somebody understands you. Somebody gets you. And that connection is priceless. So even if they only spent 2 or $3 on a gift of a book, flowers, even if they picked the flowers from your own garden... <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I've had that happen to me. Um, it doesn't matter. It's the thought that they want to do something nice to lift your spirits. And it does. It makes you feel good. All right. So let's see what we have here as an obstacle or challenge to this situation here. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this it's a new beginning is what I feel like. It, it's all new. It's brand new. So this could be a new person in your life. This could be a new start, a fresh start with somebody that's already in your life. I do feel for most of you, it is going to be somebody that you've probably been connected with for a little while. And you're just kind of getting back to a good energy all over. Like nothing's really been bad, but it feels like a new start, like a new day, new energy. And it could just be that one or both of you are in this energy of giving. And it's going to feel good. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's on your mind about this situation here. What's on your mind? How, what are you thinking about? The Magician. Interesting. Thinking about what you can create from whatever is given to you here. So it, um, I'm hearing exponentially growing whatever good energy came from this offer, this gift, this whatever this is, this page of pentacles. You want to create something more with it. You want to continue that good feeling, that good energy. And you, that's what you're thinking about is how you can go about doing that. Where you can get more like that. So if you were given a gift, this is going to be different for everyone. But some of you, say you were given a gift of a book and you really, really like that book. You may be trying to figure out how to get more of those books. Like it may be part of a series or... Um, this may be a new type of genre for you. If somebody, if you're a gardener and somebody brought you flowers, you may be looking at expanding your repertoire of plants in your garden and incorporating this new thing here. If, if it's about spending time with somebody, you're going to be focusing on how you can make more time to do that so that you feel good more often. Look at this. Okay, so... 
The foundation of the situation is the Eight of Swords. This, whatever this was, this took you out of your head in something that you were going through, okay? But what I'm hearing is, is this is going to lead you to thinking about where you can go from here. Where can you go from here? This is not a trap. This is this image here in this particular deck does not have you trapped. You're not blindfolded. Your hands are not tied. In fact, you have two swords in your hand and you have uh, six of them down here. So six swords is about moving away from difficult situations because you're facing the truth. Owls are about wisdom. You have divine guidance and protection here. So this particular eight of swords, which this is the... Um, Oh, the Celtic Tarot. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, just the Celtic Tarot, I believe, is what this is. Anyways, Eight of Swords in this deck is about using your head, thinking things through, having wisdom, insight, finding balance with the Two of Swords there, um, trusting that you will get the information that you are seeking. So that Eight of Swords is not negative in any way, shape, or form. You understand that you're not trapped. Um, you're moving forward. This is a really good energy here. All right, let's go ahead and see what your immediate future holds in store for you. Let's see what the immediate future holds in store here for you. Look at that, the Three of Pentacles. Everything works out. I, I do feel like this is about being with other people, working through things. Look, you have, um, I'm seeing Ezekiel's wheel here, even though I feel like it's Stonehenge on like being raised, okay? So raising something, growing something, lifting something up. That's what this is all about. This whole energy is about lifting up um praising, building spirits, growing, expansion. Hmm. There could be an offer of a promotion here too, a raise. Not going to be much. It's not going to be much. I, I get more of a raise than I do a promotion. If, the pro, if there's a promotion there, it's going to be a sideways one where you maybe take on a little bit more responsibility, which actually puts your creative um, talents to use. So even though it's a lateral or a sideways move, um, this may still be beneficial to you because it lifts you up. You get more freedom. You have you feel better. You feel good. Three of Pentacles in your immediate future is awesome. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for your past influences. What were the past influences here? I'm going to try to keep this reading as short as possible. We're already at eight minutes. I don't know where that time goes. Okay, so the past influence here is Ten of Swords. Something was done over completed. There could have been a lot of challenges within whatever is new here. Again, I keep feeling like this is a situation or relationship that you have been in for a while. Some of you, it will be new, absolutely. But I hope that if it's that new and you had 10 swords already, that you don't stick with this. <laughs> um, you may want to move on from that, okay? But for most of you, this is uh, releasing, letting go. Sorry, I just heard something and I thought it was my washing machine, but it's a saw outside. So this is about you completing a cycle here of difficult challenges in the past, there is healing already happening here. We have the purple lavender in the background there and the smoke. So it might be a little bit um, ephemeral right now, the healing process, but you're moving on. You are being raised up. You're being lifted. You feel good. All right, so that's the past influences. Let's go ahead and see how you feel you're v dealing with this. How do you view yourself in this situation? How do you feel like you're dealing with this situation? peacefully okay you understand there's been difficulties in the past with this queen of cups okay but you're looking for hope we have a lot of starfish here and stars represent hopes and dreams and connections and uh, something bigger than ourselves and you have the water so there's a lot of deep emotion here we have kind of a hazy sun so the sun could possibly be coming out or the sun may be fading away but you're making 
you feel pretty happy about what's happening, but you see it realistically is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're definitely seeing the, this energy and yourself as balanced emotionally, like, okay, I can handle this. This is good. I do feel good. I'm not overly excited, but I'm not unhappy with the way things are going. Interesting. Let's see what's happening in your environment here. I do feel like you're doing a lot of introspection here um, concerning this situation, looking deeper within yourself to see what it is you really do feel. All right, so around you, people are dealing with fears, okay? You may be, yeah, I do feel there's a person around you and they want to make peace with you. They want to elevate you. They want to lift you up. And I don't feel like it's a, like anybody really set out to hurt anybody or anything like that, except for that one where I mentioned if you are in a recently new relationship and you've already had to overcome 10 challenges, that may not be good. And I kind of do feel like they go together because they're next to each other. But what I am hearing is a release of fear, a release of tension, a release of um, difficult situations here, making peace. This person is sleeping. They are not awake, holding their head, seeing the demons around them. This is more subconscious. Um, this may be like just making peace with it and letting things go. But I feel like it's more the other person than you. Okay, so even if this is like a job um, where they want to give you some more responsibility or something like that, put your talents to good use, they may have fears about the cost to them. And that may be why you don't get the raise. Okay, and it, I, I do feel like you will be offered something, but it's not going to be big. Remember, we're starting with a page of pentacles here. But I do think that they worry whether or not, you know, you will stay. I think they really appreciate who you are, your talents and your skills, and they want to offer you something so that you stay. All right, they want to lift you up. They want you to feel like this is the place to be. Again, that could be your romantic relationship, a friendship, whatever. Take it as it resonates. All right, let's see what hopes and fears you have. The Nine of Cups. You want your dreams to come true. You want this to be real. You want this to be um, something that you can embrace, hold on to, appreciate, okay? And grow and expand. Definitely. It would be a dream come true. All of this, whatever situation it would be, it would be a dream come true. And that is your hope here. There is no fear. Okay. Um, I, I am hearing something about the expectation, living up to the expectation of what somebody else expects from you or what you expect from somebody else. And I don't really feel that's a fear. Um, it's a, a little niggling. Okay. Like a little... Yeah, I, I just hope everything works out the best. It probably will. You you at least feel like it most likely will. So more than likely, if you're on that path, you're right. Let's go ahead and see what the most likely outcome is going to be here for this message. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the most likely outcome is going to be here for this message. And don't forget, if this is your message, if you're aligning with this, go ahead and tickle tap, boop or zap that like button, claim it in the comments, share it with somebody. If you feel like they, this is the person that you're dealing with, or if anyone just needs this encouragement, things are going to work out here. All right. The most likely outcome is the Four of Swords, making peace with the situation, feeling comfortable, not having any fears. All right. Resting. Taking a step back, letting things be. Yeah, look, the new day is dawning over here. Beautiful. All right, so this looks really, really good as um, an outcome for swords making peace. All right, there is a decision you will be facing in the near future, but it brings whatever decision you choose, it's going to bring truth, clarity, understanding, a sense of a new adventure, fun, excitement. There's that sun fully dawned. Okay, for fully risen, lifted up. 
All right, let's go ahead and get you an angel number here and see what we have. Oh, we're going to use the other ones. Okay. We have 1616 16, willpower. The angel whispers, things may feel out of sync and not within your control right now. The whisper of the divine is asking that you remember that you are being supported. Oh, we said that with that Eight of Swords card there. And that your will is your superpower. Determination may be the key for you right now. That magician energy. I, uh, positive affirmation, if you so choose to use it, is I call on my strength and willpower to take the lead. I accept and listen to the support of the divine within me. Absolutely love that for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. I will send you all the details. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And until our energy crosses again, I am going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Love you guys. Bye.